Hey folks, hope you're having a great day. Wanted to pop on. I recently reread Into the Silent Land by Martin Laird, and I, and I thought I would share a couple quotes from it that really captured my attention. Um, great book if you haven't read it. Um, it's, I guess he's written a trilogy, so it's the first book into the silent land uh the second book is a sunlit presence i believe is the title and then a third the third book is an ocean of light i believe so hopefully i'm getting the, t the titles right but uh, into the silent land was, is really a great great book and i highly recommend you read it um, before i talk about it just wanted to again share that my book sitting with god a journey to your true self through centering prayer is available uh at most uh, publishers, at most online publishers, put myself in the picture here, um, as well as uh, on Amazon. It's in Kindle and paperback. If you haven't read it, check it out. You know, I wrote this book to share what Centering Prayer is for new practitioners. I wrote it for people that are existing practitioners to help them go deeper in their practice. And in the book, I shared, um, I got vulnerable, and I shared how Centering Prayer has healed me, how it has transformed me, and how I can do the same for you. So um, I'm hoping people, more and more people, will be attracted to Centering Prayer, practice it on a daily, weekly, monthly, annual basis, and, and be healed and, and transformed um, by God. But let's jump into Into the Silent Land uh, by Martin Laird. Um, I'll just read three, uh, six quotes and, and just reflect on them a, a little bit. Uh, the first quote, uh, a spiritual practice simply disposes us to allow something to take place. That's what we do during Centering Prayer, during a silent prayer practice. We open to the presence and actions of God within and, and wait and, and let God make God's move. Um, so a practice such as Centering Prayer allows us to let go of us and open to the Divine Presence within and let this Divine Presence within take action within us. And we notice the fruits of this uh, God's actions within us outside of our silent practices in our lives. Uh, second uh, quote, The peace will indeed come, but it will be the fruit not of pushing away distractions, but of meeting thoughts and feelings with stillness instead of commentary. This is the skill we must learn. So yes, sometimes sitting in silence can be difficult. It forces us to sit with ourselves, and, it, and this means thoughts that are weighing on our minds come up. And this means repressed thoughts and emotions are coming up as well. And that can be difficult. So, but we need to persist. So we need to sit in the silence with our thoughts that we don't enjoy. And we need to sit in the silence with repressed thoughts that come out. Because it really is a great, great healing. And outside of our practices, we're healed. We're, we're healed, the, uh, rep we're healed uh, the emotional and physical baggage of a lifetime is released, if you think about it. We're releasing stress in our bodies each time we sit. We're releasing thoughts that we didn't know we had and ones that we know we have. And it's really true freedom. We're coming out of these sits lighter, if you will. Third quote, this move from victim to witness is an early psychological fruit of the contemplative journey. It is deeply liberating and gives us a sense of possibility for real change in our lives. So we, we can step back and we can observe our thoughts and we can let go of the ones that don't serve us and hang on to the ones that do. I mean, a, a silent prayer practice lets us let go of who we are not and become who we are. And this is the person that God wants us to be. And that's truly liberating. And, and, and it's a wonderful thing because we, we, we continue to live from the person God wants us to be as a result of our silent practices. Fourth quote, God is always self-giving. It is a question of removing the obstacles that make it difficult to receive this self-gift. Self this receptivity is what the contemplative practice cultivates. So simply, yeah, that's what we do during Centering Prayer. We let go with the use of our sacred word when we engage our thoughts. 
and we open to the presence and actions of God within. We're removing the obstacles between us and God. So as much as possible, like my book Sitting with God says, we're sitting with God. We're not sitting with ourselves, our thoughts, our plotting, our planning. Fifth quote, uh, the practice of silence nourishes vigilance, self-knowledge, letting go, and the compassionate embrace of all whom we would otherwise be quick to condemn. So these are wonderful fruits that you might notice in your life as a result of your continued silent prayer practice. Uh, you recognize who you are and who you are not. You learn to let go outside of your centering prayer practice and let go of things that we don't need to hold on to that, that bother us and hone in on, present, hone in on the present moment and, and what it requires of us. And we're less critical. We're, we're, we're more willing to be with people, give people the space they deserve, and, and listen to them. And, and not be critical, but listen to what they have to say, and, and view it as a perspective that is new and interesting and might be valuable for us. And the last quote I'll read is, When you turn your attention from the object of your awareness to the awareness itself, there is just silent, vast openness that has never been wounded, harmed, angry, frightened, incomplete. This is who you are. And this is your true self. This is the person God wants you to be. You, you are loved unconditionally by God. And this person gets to come out and play after your centering prayer sits. This is what we're trying to connect to with our silent prayer practices. Uh, this is who we are. This is the person we're meant to live on a daily basis. Our true self uh, takes action on a daily basis, uh, looks at the moment and does what the present moment requires, and our future self begins taking daily actions, whether that is y you want to be an author, you want to be a speaker, you want to lose 10 pounds, you, you want to start a new career. Your, your, your true self, the person God wants you to be, starts coming out to play is what happens as a result of your, your centering prayer practice. So I thought, I hope you found this helpful. Uh, it was a great book that I, that I reread, and these were just seven, uh, six, six uh, quotes that I pulled that I thought were very powerful um, points that he made in his book. So I highly recommend you, you check out this book. You can see a link to it on, on this uh, post. Uh, I did a book review, so you can see a link to the, the book review that I wrote on it a number of years back. That's it. Much love to all of you. Take care.